Hey everyone, I'm back with one more video tonight. I know I'm just like banging these out. Why? Because I have to work. I hate working. I want to quit my job. So please, somebody, somebody out there, I know you're rich. Just pay my bills for like four months and I could quit. <laughs> but seriously, uh, what's going Oh, wow. I'm like way zoomed in. Eh, I'll fix it later. So um, I did some, uh, just some quick math, got some information from the season pass. So I'm going to show you guys in this video, basically what you're going to be getting for that season's pass, um, how much it's going to be, how much are we really paying and all that stuff. Now you're going to get umbral shards. You're going to get orbs, uh, gypsum orbs. You're going to get actual mar marks of fortune back from the season's pass. So like I said, did some quick math and here are the numbers. Here's what you're looking at for both the free and the premium seasons pass that's coming out with the next big update. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so I made a little Excel spreadsheet, nothing crazy, but I'm gonna put that in the description. And uh, just to break it down for you guys really quick, this is what you're looking at as far as how many umbrals, how many marks of fortune, and all that stuff that we're gonna be getting. Actually, you guys get to see me do, you know what? I'm not going to do any math. Let me just do this really quick. Equals some bam, bam. We've got did that work 7,500. I'm just going to take that equation and just drag it all the way down. Boom. So, oh, and we got a bunch of zeros, which sucks. We don't want those. Uh, anyway, here we go. So with the free pass you're going to get 2500 marks of fortune 9000 coin 4300 umbral shards 29 gypsum orbs and then one of each type of experience booster one weapon one territory one gathering one seasons xp which is going to give you experience for you know completing the season and, and leveling up and unlocking those different tiers and then one proficiency booster which is going to increase your gathering yield with the premium the paid version of the seasons pass you're going to get double the amount of Marks of Fortune. You're gonna get 12,000 coin, 7,500 Umbral Shards, 25 Gypsum Orbs. You actually get more from the free one. And then you're gonna get a total of four Weapon XP Boosters, five Territory XP Boosters, uh, four Gathering, four Seasons, and one or four Proficiency Boosters. Now on top of that, you're also gonna get three different crates that give you crafting stuff like Asmo, Runic Leather. And you get some of those, you get a couple crates um, from the free one too, but it's not the uh, legendary stuff. It's like the Cinnabar and, and Tolvium. I didn't even include all that stuff. I just wanted to get the basics, pretty much the stuff that you can make money on, um, like the pristine gems and stuff. So you get one of each from the free, and then you get four to five of each of the experience boosters from the premium. You're also going to get 15 of each of these, Asmo, Runic Leather, Phoenix Weave, Glittering Ebony, and Runestone. You're also going to get 15 pristine gems, and you're going to get some of those engineering and uh, weapon fragments and stuff that you get from salvaging. You're going to get 12 of the infused engineering, 6 of the infused arcane, 18 infused armor, 6 infused jewelry fragments, and 12 infused weapon fragments. Now with the combined amounts for, with everything, both the free and the premium, it's gonna give you a grand total of 7,500 marks of fortune, which is about $7.50 USD if you buy, you know, the, the 500 marks pack or whatever it is. Um, or not the five, the $5 pack, I'm sorry. And then as far as the total amount of coin, 21,000 and then 11,800 total umbral shards. Again, this is from the free and the premium version. Uh, you're going to get a total of 54 gypsum orbs and then you know all the other numbers are here um, the freeze is not going to give you any of this stuff at all so how do i know that basically and again guys i'm going to leave this in the description so you guys could check it out and maybe update it because there's like one five and the rest of the four so i probably messed that up but i just went here and you can go on the ptr and actually check out what you're going to be getting uh, with the pass so if you want more details on like you know how many azoth vials and stuff like that i didn't include that but basically you're going to get some skins you're going to get these different um expedition chests like for doing a regular tempest heart you're going to get some mutated chests that come out and i'll probably do a video on this later to include all the rewards but again i just wanted to show you guys how much you're going to be getting in marks of fortune coin umbral shards and gypsum just the basics but 
uh, me and my friend are actually going to, me and my friend uh, Tinker, we're going to actually go and start unlocking all of these and probably do like a video uh, opening them all up at the end because I think that would be pretty cool and a lot of fun. So I think it's really cool. I love the Seasons Pass. I really like it. And now I'm going to show you guys how much it's going to cost us in Marks of Fortune to unlock the premium and how many of those Marks of Fortune we're going to be getting back. So they said that it is going to cost 20,000 Marks of Fortune, which is basically 20 bucks, and the season lasts for three months, okay? So if you wanna break that down into like, you know, some people are saying, well, now it's kind of like a subscription-based game, you have to pay, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I agree with that, but if you wanna break it down, $20 divided by three is $6.66 a month. And you're going to be getting back a total of $7.50 worth of Marks of Fortune because Marks of Fortune are $5 for 5000 In the grand scheme of things, you're not really paying much for the season's pass, and I think it's well worth it. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to add a whole new aspect of, you know, just trying to level up through something and, and give us something to, to up, open and unlock on a daily basis. I think that's great. I'm really excited about it. Now remember guys, those are just the basics, like the things that you can really make money on. Um, I don't know if this gear is going to be BOE. I don't know if you're also going to get a ton of other rewards like skins uh, for your weapons, skins for your tools. You're going to get armor. You're going to get weapons. You're going to get different dyes, uh, tent skins, all kinds of stuff. Uh, jewelry, you're going to get amulets, earrings. Um, regular rings, you're going to get weapons, you're going to get armor, you're going to get these flame cores. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. I didn't cover all of that. I'm going to cover that in the next video when we unlock all these different rewards. But there's a lot more to it than just the stuff that I have on the spreadsheet. Potions, Azoth, um, Ancient Ward potions, all kinds of stuff. So this is not a video on that. I just wanted to show you guys the basics like the gypsum orbs, the umbral shards and all of that kind of stuff. And in about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, me and my friend Tinker, we're actually going to start unlocking all these rewards. And at the end, we'll probably do a video where we open all the boxes up. It'll be pretty cool. And we're also going to be streaming. So if you want to check out the stream, stop on by. We'll probably be firing that up in like the next five or 10 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will get a more detailed video later, I promise. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great day.